I just wanted to briefly describe how to install R uh, for a Windows machine. Uh, so the first thing you need to do is load, launch your web browser. So I'll do that here. I'm using Chrome, but it doesn't really matter. And you need to go to the Comprehensive R Archive Network, or CRAN. So I'll just type that in here. And you'll see that there's uh, at the top, there's three options. There's Linux, a uh, Mac, and Windows. So you can go to the Mac version here. And you want to go click on the base link here. And at the very top, you'll see Download R 3.0.3 for Windows, and that's exactly what you want. Uh, so you can just click on this link, and the download will start. And so depending on how fast your internet connection is, this might take a few minutes. Okay, so the download's finished. Uh, I'm going to click on this. Um, and you'll probably have to click on Yes for this. Uh, and so uh, you can choose your language here. Uh, there are a number of choices uh, in terms of the translations that you can choose from. Uh, so I'm going to choose English because that's my language. Uh, and then you can just click through the installer. It'll it kind of walk you through the various steps. And so we'll do that right now just to see what the options are. So you can click on Next. Um, you have to agree to the license, which is the Gen GNU General Public License. So uh, feel free to read it and then click on Next. Um, the, usually the default installation directory is fine, so I'm going to go through this. Um, the, use, the default user installation is fine. There are other kind of installation setups that you can uh, choose from. Uh, if you know you only you have a 32-bit uh, machine, maybe an older machine, uh, you, you could click on that. Uh, by default, it will install both versions, so you don't have to really worry about that. Um, so just click through Next on this one. Um, and uh, you can choose to kind of take all the defaults or you can try to customize your startup. I'm going to customize the startup just so you can see kind of what the options are here. Um, so uh, this option here shows you whether, asks you whether you want an MDI or SDI interface. So what that means is basically do you want R to kind of run in one big window uh, with kind of different sub-windows inside of a big window or do you want it to run in kind of like separate windows? Um, I prefer to use the SDI mode where the, so the console will be in one window and the kind of the graphics window will be a separate window. Uh, I just kind of I feel like it, I like that a little bit better. It's easier to work with. So I'm going to click on the SDI option. And then you can choose how you want to look at your help files. Uh, so the HTML help is, some, is a little bit nicer. It's prettier to read. Uh, and the plain text help is, uh, well, it's just plain text. Uh, so maybe I'll just click on plain text just to be different. Um, and then you can choose whether you want standard or Internet 2, Internet access. Uh, this, generally speaking, you should not mess with. So you just click on next. Um, uh, you can uh, create a shortcut uh, in the startup me start menu. So it's usually a good idea. And you can usually quick uh, choose the defaults here in terms of creating a desktop icon, uh, unless your desktop is very cluttered and you want to you know, avoid that. So these, are, these uh, defaults are fine, so I'll click on Next, and then it'll start installing the files on your computer. So now it's done, and we can just click on Finish here, and, and you've now installed R on your computer. And so I'll just uh, close this browser here. And I see you've got, I got a desktop icon here, so I'll just double click on that. And uh, there we are, we're running R.